Yeah, please have a tea. I miss it because I'm bound to. Um, we have an essentially a card game. Uh, it is called Help. That's its short title. Um, but it would also be Help, I Need a Librarian. Um, in a longer title. Um, and it is essentially a uh, twinning, matching card game. So all the cards are uh, shuffled. At the moment we've got 16, but uh, we had various um, different versions where you could have obviously more cards or two different sets of cards because we've got uh, questions on some of them and answers on others. So essentially we've got 16 here, 8 questions, 8 answers. So in the same way that you turn over cards and try and match them, and memory match them, then turn we, we turn over a card and uh, you oh, look, see if you've got, got, got pair. Yeah, you've got a pair, you see. Now, we have got illustrations to help with matching those questions and answers. An advanced level of the game would just have the text, so you could uh, have a question and answer. But actually, in some cases, you might find that a certain answer answers the question but later on when you've matched you might have discovered a better answer that could do the same thing. So we've got a, a variant there of uh, whether uh, you have the right answer for, for the question that you've got. Um, but that again, that would come into the advanced level of the game. This basic version makes it easier by using the illustrations but you, you're still learning through reading the questions and the answers out to the group. If, there's a little twist, if you turned over two question cards, you'd then get the opportunity to choose one of those to flip back and then flip another card to see if you actually found an answer card. Um, we haven't quite thought about whether or not you could do anything with, if you flipped over two answer cards, for example, but that's, again, that's, that's up for, up for um, debate and experiment, I think. But uh, we had a lot of fun um, trying to flesh these things out and, um, and, and keep it nice and simple so we've got sort of simple um, questions about how to find certain things in the library and, um, and simple answers to those questions. Um, so we've, we've got a game here that doesn't necessarily match a particular level of, of library and education for example, um, but it, it, uh, it, it hopefully could fit to all different sorts of you did say you could play it differently by handing them all out to a larger group and get one person to read their question out and the others to see who had the answer and that person yeah. would read the answer and sort of work around the group that way, a bit like a loop game because rather that, than doing it as a matching game. In that example, again, you might have two people in the group saying, well, I think this answer matches yeah. that question and you debate and learn through yeah. that debate as to yeah. which one uh, would be right. Because I think once you have the cards, you could then actually think of alternative mm. ways you could you play with, like, you know, trying to find mm. your matching partner or hide the cards somewhere in the library and then go mm. find the card yes, that matches yeah. yours. Yes, because you said we could do yeah. it as actually moving around the room. Yeah, and find, find the person who matches yeah. with you. So there's lots of different ways you could play it once you've got the cards mm. themselves. And by yeah. pure fluke, I managed to get your um, magic thing in. Uh -huh. <laughs>